Good morning, it's Lydia Knox of Three Dog Art Studio, and I realize I don't have my glasses. And yes, Mercury is in retrograde. I don't know about you guys, but I can certainly tell. <laughs> so welcome to the new moon in Libra today. And it's quite the day today because... Um, the, the new moon forms a stellium, and a stellium is when um, a bunch of planets and or celestials, like the sun, are all together within two degrees. So we have the sun in Libra, Mars in Libra, and the moon in Libra. So that creates a lot of energy and a lot of intensity. And we also have Pluto going direct. So... With that, um, it's important to understand that um, uh, people will be more assertive, but you will also get a bunch of assertive energy coming your way. So those are two things that that are really good. Hey there, Mystic Knits. How are you? I uh, hope you're surviving the Mercury retrograde. Uh, my uh, graphics card on my computer is starting to act really weird. <laughs> Facebook went down, stuff like that. This is all kind of Mercury retrograde fun that where that's going on. So just make sure that all your information is clear. Ask questions, double check, follow up. Don't make assumptions. When things are uh, this intense and crazy, it can get a little bit out of control. And, uh, it's early in BC for sure. It's like three hours earlier, so you're up. You're up way early. So this is good. Um, yeah. So uh, it's a good day to um, to make changes in your life. Uh, there are going to be some issues coming up um, since Pluto is going direct and it directly squares with Eris which means that there's going to be a little bit of dissension and people acting up. Also, um, Venus is in the last degree of Scorpio. So in that degree, before it heads on into uh, Sagittarius, which is full of optimism, you may get some last gasps of, of jealousy, um, envy, uh, revenge, right? Watch out for that and try and stay low. Try to stay out of trouble if you can, especially if you're going on the internet and you see somebody talking about something that upsets you. Uh, take your time to just uh, not reply, at least for today. If you can not, com not reply completely, you're in a way better place than, than you would be normally. So yeah, stay open to that. And I just noticed that I dropped my notes in the garbage. <laughs> this is like a very Mercury retrograde thing for me today. Yeah, so um, there could be some anarchy. There could be some rebellion. Um, make sure that you uh, stay away from uh, controversial stuff, which I've mentioned before. Uh, Mercury retrograde is still squaring with Pluto, so there will be some people who will think that their might is right, and they will try and be a little bit more bullying and and uh, domineering. So uh, stay clean of that. What's good with this kind of energy is getting things in motion, right? Especially for artists. Uh, Venus is going to head into Sagittarius, and when it does, that's full of enlightenment, uh, positive philosophies, uh, seeing the brighter side of the picture. After we've done all this shadow work we, during the waning moon, uh, now in the new moon, we have the opportunity to start thinking a little bit more positively and and being stronger because we've done all this shadow work so um now is the time to start um finding a vision that'll guide you in a creative manner that'll drive you forward and um find an ideology pick up a self-help book uh, find a good 
uh, coach, life coach to help you um, move forward if you feel stuck. I had, uh, I, I use Rachel Wilkins for my business, um, art business stuff, and uh, she's a great life coach. Uh, she has a podcast there. So um, do try and catch it because it's very motivating and uh, very heartening. And it, it might help you uh, push forward with your creative business if that's what you're doing. Now, magically, so um, basically today is the day to take out the trash. Today is the day to um, remove negative things from yourself. So if you're struggling with an addiction or a block of any kind, Today, I'm going to just give you some candle magic again. So I want you to um, get a small candle and take it to uh, a place outside somewhere, like be it in the woods, if you can get to the woods or some, some kind of place of nature where you'll be relatively alone. And um, so a tea light would probably be the best. Thing if you find that you're living in the city and you don't have much space to be alone but just get outside and uh, the tea light should be blue if you can do it and if not just white and uh, think of what it is that is blocking you from moving forward and um, basically write up a, a little poem uh, that um, Ask the universe and the invisibles to remove that blockage from your life and clear it out and say goodbye to it forever and let the candle burn out till it is gone. And that's why I suggest a tea light because uh, otherwise you'll be out there for a while. I mean, if you got the time, hey, that's great. But, you know, most of us are pretty busy and, and don't have the time for that. And uh, if it's really windy, just stick your tea light in a jar and that'll protect it from the winds that may blow. Um, art wise right now, I am working on this commission. So I basically did one of the final layers. If you notice, I have my magnifying uh, glass nearby and I've been studying the Dutch masters and their miniatures because the faces of these people are very, very tiny. They're about the size of a quarter and um, I need to get right in there and try and add as much detail as I can to their faces so that it matches the faces that my client gave me when he sent me the pictures. So it's very exciting to, to be able to um, uh, get on the last layers of this and, and get her done. Um, that's it. Oh, and also I do do illustrated astrology charts. If anybody is interested, I charge 50 bucks for it. Um, but that gives you, I use qual high quality, um, paper and I use, uh, pens that will last a long time. And basically I take your birth chart and I draw it out and I draw out what I think the birth chart is telling me. So I just kind of illustrate it and it looks kind of cool. And this is a great Christmas gift. I know it's early, but you know, <laughs> commissions, if you're, if you're going to commission an artist, this is a good time to do it. Do it early. Uh, don't wait because, um, you know, things pile up and then I don't have any time to do anything. But uh, the illustrated charts are fun. And uh, they're basically uh, my kind of illustrations. And uh, yeah, so um, I enjoy doing them. So if you, if you have someone in mind who, who's uh, hard to buy for, but they love astrology, this might be the thing for them. So I think with that, I'm going to say goodbye, stay creative, and stay out of trouble for the Mercury retrograde. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.